Now let's just bring you some of the day's other news. A meeting with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, the United States and Japan have agreed to strengthen cooperation in reaction to what they say as see as China's increasing assertiveness. Secretary Austin said China was threatening to undermine international rules based order. Nobuo Kishi repeated Tokyo's commitment to increase defense spending, a major shift for Japan, which is a which has a pacifist constitution. Where the Supreme Court has rejected an appeal by the deposed former leader Aung San Suu Kyi against a five-year sentence for corruption, which was handed down last week. She had already been sentenced to six years in jail and still faces 10 other corruption charges. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is facing a test of his popularity. I understand we're showing you pictures of Anthony Blinken, but it's a story about uh, UK politics. Uh, let's come out of those pictures. There we are, Boris Johnson. Uh, there's an, local elections across uh, the UK. Voters in Scotland, Wales and much of England are electing local councillors and mayors in some areas. People in Northern Ireland are choosing a new assembly. And a series of tornadoes have left a trail of destruction in the U.S. state of Oklahoma. A number of buildings were damaged, but there aren't any reports of injuries. Thousands of people have been left without power. The tornadoes were part of a storm system which has brought severe weather to Oklahoma and Texas. Now, one of London's most famous symbols is the logo for the Underground Railway System, part of the Transport for London network. Since 1908, that logo, called a roundel, has welcomed millions onto the tube and influenced several other transport logos across the world. And now it's been given an African flavour, courtesy of British Ghanaian artist Larry Achampong. Daniel Dadzi reports.